morning. Finally out on a lovely little trek. Myself and her behind. And uh, we're out early to beat this mega mega heat wave that we're supposed to be getting. So hopefully by the time we've done this one, we'll be uh, we'll be back at car and we'll have a little wander around this uh, little village. Right, we started at Artington. It's a nice little village. Jane's always said she wanted to have a look at it. Now we're here having a look, and we're going to Pillsbury Castle Hills. That's our destination for today. Nice little five or six mile circular a nice gentle stroll so let's see where it takes us and I'll catch you further along the route I hope you enjoy it We've just uh, climbed a star and James just pointed out to me there's a, a bull in front of us, or a cow, and it's got horns. So, if suddenly you see us running, that's because this thing's chased us. And I'll run faster than she will. <laughs> and there's no love, seriously, if this starts running, it's every man and woman for herself. <laughs> they look sharp I can see this star we're climbing and we'll be over this before this even lifts its head up there it is right catch on to the side of this star Well, when I chose this walk and when I was looking for this and found this walk, it did one of its distinguishing markers with it. There's quite a lot of styles, and I think at the minute we've climbed about five, and we've only just started, so they're right on that one, and we're just fast approaching another one. So I think it's going to boast the most styles. If we remember, we'll count them until you end of it how many we've actually climbed. But I think at minute it's five. I think so. So five. And we've not even got a mile yet. So that'll be good. And here comes the next one. So we'll keep you like a bit further along. See you in a bit. I would like to admit Can't 
we let go of tomorrow, yeah. You never break, you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark. So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind. I think about you a lot, it's almost like I can't stop, can't stop, yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument. So I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay. It's just a phase, and everything is going just great. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop. Can't stop. Yeah, yeah. from kind of turn me upside down I just don't know what to do I want to spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t-shirts right do my lunch at walk that breeze is lovely it's a nice warm ish but cooling wind Hats off because I was getting my like a bit of a sweaty head. Scene was nice, and then there's a that she'll get it in a bit. We'll uh, we'll carry on. We're not far away from. Castle at a minute. I don't know what I'm going to find, but I'm sure we'll find something. It's been a few weeks since we put a video out. We went on as jollies. Probably tell I've got a bit of a bit of a tan. That's not through walking. That's through having to sit in heat by a pool while sun seeker here. Burns to a crisp. When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating, you can't stop looking at her smile. Then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. Just um, looking around, trying to get my bearings and seeing where we are. I keep looking forward and seeing a little point over there. We can see it up video. But after checking maps, it's come to light that that is Dragon's Bike or uh, Park House, whichever you want to call it, and Crow Mill. Because High Wielding's just off over to the right of that as you're looking at it but we are should be at the castle very shortly 
and that's where we start looking round and then start heading back because as I said it's going to be a short walk because we, we're getting out I'm going to try and get back and have a walk round village before this super heat wave that they keep boasting on about saying you've got to stay in you've got to do this you've got to do that so we're going to isolate for two days or Jane's going to isolate on back garden for two days well one day because she's working but yeah she'll be she'll be bikini ridden but you don't want to see that really but I'll take a, I couldn't take a video on that but no no you wouldn't be honestly so we're gonna crack on we're literally on top of this Pillsbury Castle cliff or cliff castle whichever and uh, we'll have a look around that see what that is because I can't see it at a minute Right, here we are, Pillsbury Hill Castle, uh, different to what I expected, I expected to see some old castle remains, but it's, uh, I think it's dated back long before brick walls and stuff are going to plaque, but yeah, here we are, this is it. Pillsbury Castle.
Right, well there you have Pillsbury Castle. We don't get to see any uh, stone walls or anything like that, or mounds or castles or anything, or watchtowers, because mainly it were all built out of wood and uh, built on the mounds. Uh, all wooden buildings, wooden fencing, wooden everything. And it built in 1066, Norman Conqueror. It's uh, very impressive, you don't know what left of it, obviously. But yeah, I hope you get the gist of it, we've got to show them around. Very nice, even though it's not left. You get to see mounds, or earth, earth where, where everything's been. But it still feels quite here, eh? You know it's uh, a bit of history you're walking on. Sat on top of it. Little mound there, little cliff. And uh, well, another thing, it weren't protected by anything like moats or like that. It were the mounds themselves that protected it and these wooden walls. They did have a, uh, a uh, like a watchtower on top of on top of one of Ice mounds, just so they could see out. But yeah, I find it interesting. Yeah, I do. Well, she, she says she does, but does that look like it does? I'd like to let my imagination run a bit wild. Did you hear that? I get that. She let her imagination does run very wild. Many a time. So, that's that. That's what we've come to see. It's not what I expected. I expected to see some ruins, but we haven't got that. But we have got a little bit of what used to be there sort of as a picture and what is sort of in his head so now we're going to aim back down to the village for a different way nice steady stroll it's 12 o'clock on the dot and it's now time to move off back down and have a cup of coffee somewhere so i'll catch you in a bit Try it. 
No, that was a bit of a climb. Went steep, a bit of a long. Oh, and with this, how close it is, and we're being warm, that was hard. Hard for both of us, if you believe it or not. We've just passed, seen some video of it, I Close Farm. James and Lucy, we fell in love with it. Yeah, it's lovely. Like lovely place. Should have that because it's so clean. <laughs> That's the poshness coming out of it. It'll be some form for the bike to go to sad fascia. <laughs> Not unloved. Not the fact it was dirty. Eh? It's how the windows were and the bottom door. It looked sad. Sad. It's a sad house. Don't ask me what that means. I don't know. Some people might. That's Jane. She says things like this. It looked sad. Right. So now we're moving on. On his way back to Arlington. Hartington. Hartington. Arlington, whichever. It's been a long day and I'm losing my trousers. <laughs> so on his way back. Nice and steady walk. On the main road. I'll try and find his path. We're about a mile and a half left. So I'm hoping you're enjoying it. And I'm going to go before my trousers end up being on the bottom of my ankles. And I'll catch you in a bit. Right, not far now. Eh? So I have to wait for it to put a lippy on. So we're going into Hartington. Really? Oh, Hartington. We just uh, we just passed somebody who rather posh. So Jane had a little conflict with him. We were being posh, you could understand it. I had to put on a posh walks. Went into Hartington, you know. One does. But. I'll it a few. There you go. 
she chats you to another channel and says she learned being posh off me. I have never, ever, ever been posh. Believe me. Least common posh person you could ever meet. Anybody will tell you. So, we're going on now. Uh, I think we're about a mile left in this walk. And we're going to head back into the village, dump the stuff in the car, and go for lunch. A nice Sunday lunch, pub Sunday lunch, I believe. Half a cider. And Jane's having half a cider. And being as I'm in the car, I will be having a pint of Coke. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to be turning left here oh, yeah. and go through the field. I'm hoping you're enjoying this walk. It's not been the scenic of walks, but it's been a walk. Right, coming up to the village of Artington where we started. What we're going to do now, yeah, a couple of videos of me got us going through Artington to uh, our car, and then that's where it's going to end. So I've hope you enjoyed it. I have. It's been a nice day to get out before this mad heat thing comes. So the one that they keep talking about to be honest with you today's been lovely there's been a nice breeze it's been a bit warm but there's been a nice breeze enough to cool you down so yeah it's not been the most scenic of walks but it's been good it's been a walk 